plenty of time. Better hide here for now. I don't know who she's trying to get ahead of. Oh, it is her. Hello. Why is there a tacit discord here? Looking for me? Oh, here you are. <laughs> Interesting attack. Smack her with the hilt of the blade. Oh, I think we did. Oh no, we just jumped on her. You'd never get this in Genshin. Why does she look so suggestive? <laughs> are we going to have a conversation like this or are we going to stand You're up like adults such a box on Oaks? Full of surprises. Hi. Who are you? So we're playing Truth or Dare now. I see. Oops. <laughs> Getting angry, are we? Sorry, but it's just oh. so much fun to rile you up. Yeah, I, I actually expect it is. You're the very first person to pique my interest like this. You have great potential. That's great. Answer my question. Okay, so you're not up for small talk. I'll keep that in mind. You're my mission target after all. Are you from the Black Shores? Bingo! I'm one of the bloom bearers of the Black Shores. Well, you'd have to prove it by producing one of the blooms, actually. This Blake oh, bloom is hair. our symbol. It represents our mission to save the world. That's why the flower looks so weird. The one that Verena created. It has no stamens. That's what it says in the rules, at least. <laughs> Does that mean that's not what you do? That's concerning. I, what do you plan to do with me? Our plans? Hmm. What is it again? Oh, to recruit as many talents as we can and save the world from its impending doom. You obviously don't believe that. So are you in? I don't know, you didn't sound very convincing. You were reciting what you learned. You don't sound like you want to save the world. Nah, -uh, I don't. The world? Couldn't care less. If it's all going boom tomorrow, why not have fun while we can? I mean, I don't disagree, but I'd like it to not go boom if that's okay with you. To stop it, nothing for more power. Take down any prey without mercy and indulge in all our desires for the ultimate pleasure. You could do all of that and still, you know, forestall the end of the world. How are you any different from the Fraxidus then? Well, I mean, I'd love to live that way. But alas, duty calls. The Black Shores, our garden, is home to many green fruits, and we'll make you the most special seed among them all. Everyone's trying to recruit the rover. My duty is to nurture and safeguard seeds like you, allowing them to blossom into luscious fruits. Well, you can join my party then if you like, and you can just follow and make sure I'm safe and that I, I blossom into a luscious fruit, you know? Then, once the fruit ripens, I'll get to pick it and indulge the sweetness of my labor all by myself. A fruit? You're just like what Civilization Simulation Sand Table Tethys has told us. I can feel such explosive potential within you. A One day, simulation. you'll surely bear the most beautiful fruit imaginable. No need to be so on edge. I won't do anything strange to you, I think. <laughs> she thinks. Actually, I've been diligently protecting you, you know. I got rid of all types of pests that tried to get in your way. <laughs> Thank you. Ew, don't mention me and the Fraxidus in the same sentence. I couldn't care less about their petty games, but if they even think of laying their dirty fingers on you... <sighs> You're mine, and I don't like sharing. Tell that to Scar. Just a couple tricks and I had those fools flapping around like headless chickens. What a boring crowd. Your earrings look really heavy, by the way. Tricks? Whoa, don't tell me you haven't noticed. 
Enjoyed your nightly rendezvous with that long maiden? You have me to thank for keeping those Fraxidus people away. Oh, interesting. Well, I've answered plenty of questions already. Now it's your turn. Did you at least give me your name? What do you want to ask? Is this how you treat the talents you're trying to recruit? Huh. I've been in this position for long enough now. In case you haven't noticed, guys, um, question mark lady is actually pulling the rover down. Keeping her immobilized. <clears throat> Do you think I'd entertain your inquiries if I didn't have a blade on my throat? Anyway... I'm not trying to get any answers from you. Then why do you want to ask me questions? But I'll be watching you. You're a very special seed. That I'm very sure. I can feel something oddly familiar about you. Okay, that's weird considering you weren't alive for the last lament. But what were we tracking down the Blackshaw for? What kind of information do you need? Because you have a Blackshaw member right here right now. Raven, you better use her. My name is Camellia. There we go. Camellia. I like her resonance ability with the vines and the flowers. It's cool. Try not to let me catch you so easily next time. And she's gone. Hmm. <laughs> that was fast. She is a swift lady. Rover, what took you so long? Rover! To Did something happen? Another stalker showed up. Is that a friend or a foe? Are you hurt? She's from the Black Shores. The Black Shores? Did she tell you anything? A shame I let her get away. Phew. At least you're safe. I mean, the Black Shores aren't a threat to me, as far as I'm aware. Shizia noticed a guy acting suspicious. I think she's keeping an eye on him. Ugh, that's not gonna end well. Sure. I'll be there. We are in the shopping district. See you then. Where's the shopping district? Kitties! Is one of you gonna let me pet you? Every cat seems to fall down when I, uh... Ugh. Get near them. So, no, this one. Is she one of the, sorry, I double pressed. Is she one of, there's no sound when this menu opens. Awkward. Um, no, cause it's just Dungling and these two or whatever her name was, Dunlin, whatever, don't care. So we can't pull this chick. She's awesome though, I really like her. Is this, again, just complaining about this quest. Oh no. Yay! We fully nailed our gifts of thawing for us. I can read. That's gonna continue to bitch at me. Oh, we've got new challenges. Yeah, I'll do them in a sec. Wow, the bar's set low there. Log in! More money, because that's what I really need. More money. We can just fast travel back to the city, right? Yes, oh, it's in the city. Interesting. Hello. What's with the sunglasses, bro? Wait. Isn't this him? Yeah. Outdoor. Rover. There Rover. you are. Rover. I'm going to repeat it back to her every single time she says it now. Uh, did they take the bait? We walked the streets wearing the Blake bloom like you said. Talked to various people, but I didn't hear anything useful. How about Tisha? Shizia did say she found someone suspicious. Look, it's him. I think he's just suspicious, period. It's got nothing to do with the Blake Bloom. Just stop pulling my cursor there. He's not even wearing a Whoa, Blake Bloom. Perfect timing. This guy's been sniffing around here for a while. Oh, he does now. have one. He keeps trying to talk to the elderly and minors. I've been keeping Ugh. an eye on him. The elderly and the minors? Dude. Really? And I saw a little girl with him. She kept turning her head and looking around, but now she's nowhere to be found. The 
This is super fishy. Hey, I'm Patrol Achisha. Sir, business license, please. But business license? Uh-oh. I'm Alto, just a humble information broker. I've been traveling around, helping people out in my own small way. Not the biggest fan of your voice actor. I see. So no license. I bet you don't have a fixed business location either, huh? He's an information broker. I don't think he does. Business location? Why would I need that? Hmm. Now show me your organizational accreditation, please. Well, I'm an honest broker of information. Always open to negotiations at the right price. I'm the all-time Intel champ, with more bestseller certificates than I can count. No license? No clear business plan? You're running an illegal business. Um... Who's your supervisor? You should at least have their ID number. M my supervisor? Oh, <laughs> right. She's like a super big deal. It looks weird, but they've got in front of the chest. Born with this planet we're living on. She's the will of the star. The reverberation of everything in this world. This guy lost his marbles. Are you for real? So do you even have a supervisor or not? What? <laughs> Come on. I already told you about her. Why won't you believe me? Why would someone believe you? Yeah, yeah, I believe you. I know what's going on. Now, sir, you're coming with me to the patroller station. Oh, come on, please. I didn't do anything illegal. I was just looking for someone. A little girl. Um, about this tall? She's the kind of stand out in any crowd. I've seen no distinguishable children in this city, so... You really think I'm gonna buy that? And why are you looking for a child? It's creepy. Oh, you know, you saw her earlier. It's that girl. A short girl, a pink-haired girl. She seems to bounce while she walks. I don't know this person. Why do you, does the uh, rover feel like she knows this person? Yeah, exactly. Wait, how do you know? Right? I'd like to know the same thing. with Marina. Oh, please watch out. It's dangerous to run like that. Can I help you, child? Hello, child. Can I help you? Way too many cute noises. I can't, I just, no. Please fewer of them. Encore! I've looked everywhere for you. Her name is Encore? Leave that girl alone. Who the hell names their child Encore? I mean, yeah, his name was Alto and I was like, mm, okay, whatever. But really, Encore? Really? Miss Patroller, she's the girl I've been looking for. Hello, little one. Is your name Encore? Do you know this person? Why is your name Encore? And why are you wearing hair accessories the same color as your hair? Yes! Encore knows him! Oh, sweet baby Jesus, she's talking in third person. Uncle Alto sells stuff without a license. He listens <laughs> in on people for commercial secrets, and he loves pulling pranks on us kids. But he's not a bad guy, really. Just doing an illegal business, you know. Nothing, nothing shady. Uh, encore. Remember our little chat? What did I say about calling me uncle in public again? I am not that old. Compared to her, you are. That doesn't add up with what you just said. You sound real suspicious to me. Is that what you're going to focus on? Miss Farina? Where did you meet this girl? I ran into her near a cliff on my way home. She was eating a poisonous mushroom. Jesus Christ, this childhood supervision. I managed to make her the antidote in time. Imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there. Don't worry. Encore's had plenty of that mushroom already. She's poison immune. The 
But why did you go to such a dangerous place alone, little Encore? We got your back, little one. No worries. Just tell us what you know. Because... because Encore must keep an eye on her. Everybody's... like I literally cannot move without 12 people watching me. This is getting really uncanny. I've got the Fraxidus watching my every move. I've got Camellia watching my every move. I previously had Sampa, but now I don't. And now I have Encore staring at me. Like, <laughs> how do I move freely in this world? <laughs> uh, kids can have such a wild imagination sometimes. <laughs> hey, Alto, didn't you just send Encore there? Wait, why are they all giving you the side eye? Encore. Some things are better left unspoken, you know. Since the situation has come to this, I've got no choice but to tell you. Indeed! We're here for business, and it's a crucial one. You want to know what it is? I don't know. Having just seen that, I'm a little concerned. What's with the heart? Let's go! Wait for me! See ya! We still have a world to save! <coughs> Wait! Okay, that was weird. <coughs> we can't let him get away! I I'll go search in the residential area. The mist figure of Alto, it's posed in a weird way as if he's an eagle spreading his wings. Did he leave it here to mock you? Not quite sure. <clears throat> in front of the mist figure, there is a floating line of handwriting also made out of fog. We value integrity and quality above all else. New customers enjoy 20% uh, off. What is this? Is he mocking us? Yes. I'll go down that way towards the patrol station. I know the streets here like the back of my hand. I'd like to think so, considering that's literally your job. The Miss Figure of Alto. It's posed in a weird way, as if he's stretching his arms out for a welcome hug. Do you leave it in a mock you? You're not quite sure. In front of the Miss Figure that's floating behind a handwriting, also made out of the fog. Fate brings us together. May our friendship endure forever. Here's another split in the road. I'll go look for him in the square. I'll leave the other side to you. Patience, please. The answer is right around the corner. Oh, he wants me to follow him. The gaps between each mist figure are shrinking. Over there, at the end of that alley. Oh, but Uncle's not here. Huh. Now you're here. You have nowhere to run. Where are you going to run off to this time? Nowhere. He wanted us here by well, himself. We weren't really running from you. We just wanted to make sure you were alone. I know. I can put two and two together, sir. Good, please. I don't appreciate a child Uncle telling me that. And Uncle Alto won't do anything bad to you. What do you want from me? She just called you an uncle again. Ginger speeds the help! That's enough, Encore. You're freaking our precious clients out. Encore just did as Alto said. Encore is usually a good girl. Don't be scared, Rover. We just have a few questions for you. Was it your idea? To have those two ladies wear those counterfeit Blake Blooms and attract our attention, I must admit. They looked quite convincing. If I was an outsider, I might mistake them for the real deal. So, you worked with a plant-type resonator. Interesting. A plant-type resonator? We happen to know someone like that too, don't we? Yeah, there are more than one of them out there. Not a big deal. I think it's pretty cool. So please, tell us. What do you want from the Black Shores? Why should I tell you my past might be related to the Black Shores? Now you're finally biting the hook. <laughs> Not bad. You've managed to catch on real quick. Like what they say here in Huang Long, the straight hook is for willing fish to bite. Da -da -da -da. Your efforts finally caught our attention. Surprise! Didn't take long. The people you've been looking for are right in front of you. Now, how's that for a piece of intel? I'll let you have it. 
free of charge. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, not that disappointed look. Gotta learn how to enjoy a surprise while you can, or life gets real boring, you know? I know you must have a ton of questions for me, but one moment, please. As you already know, I'm an information broker. I've got money, though I don't really like the idea of having to pay you for the information. That means I make deals instead of passing out freebies. You want information from me? You gotta give me something in return. <laughs> Relax, Rover. We just want to make a deal with you. We want you to come with us to an abandoned Court of Savante facility to help us recover a resonance beacon. How does one recover a resonance beacon, exactly? Are they not just in the ground, or is it being protected by a mob of some kind? In turn, I'll tell you everything we know so far. Our I business trust you? is centered around customer satisfaction and built on integrity. Otherwise, we wouldn't qualify as consultants of the Black Shores. And since you're a first time customer, I'm pleased to offer you an additional gift. Okay. Oh, thanks. Here, have this. This should prove you're serious since you already know what it represents. Now I have a real one. And if you still have doubts about us, just show it to that plant-savvy young miss. She'll be able to tell, finally, as a last resort. Encore! Do your cute face! Uh. Quick! <laughs> it won't work on me! Hey, Encore, this is the part where you learn that I hate children. Not gonna work on me. Look at this poor child pleading to you like that. How could anyone have the heart to decline? The easily. Settle, then. Very easily, sir. We'll be waiting for you near this beacon in Whining Ix's mire. Ah, so now we're going to the mire. And don't forget to come alone, okay? I'm just gonna bring Tian and Kalkoro if that's okay. <laughs> Did you find them? Yes, they're from the Black Shore. What? Seriously? No way. They gave me this Blake Bloom. As I expected. This flower is indeed a type of remnant plant. She's still putting in the E in there. And it contains a very unique kind of remnant energy. The concentration is much higher than usual, too. Can someone tell a voice actress that remnant and remnant are two different words? I don't think she realizes. No way. Are they really from the Black Shores? Pshh, not as mysterious as people make them out to be. Well, at least they're good at running. I'll give them that. What did they tell you? I made a deal with them. You explained the current situation. That place. I only heard it's an abandoned research institution. There is nothing special about it. Well, I conveniently have to go there for another quest, so I'm not complaining. Because of the dangerous weather conditions and whining Ix's mire, it's been ages since anyone went there. Don't worry, Yang Yang. We all know how strong our rover is. Okay, rover? Rover? I'll tell the Academy about this, and they'll help transmit your data from the Resonance Nexus. Then, that beacon in the whining Ix's mire should be unlocked for you. There have been frequent tacit field activities recently. If you're going there alone, please be careful. I love the way that people's hair just mysteriously- I mean, that's weird. But her hair just mysteriously comes out like it defies gravity. Just ring I mean, us Young Young does the same. Hand. We'll come rushing. Her hair also sticks out, oddly. Why can't hair just act like hair, damn it? Holy shit. Where'd that come from? Peculiar Blake Bloom. It's two kilometers away. It's quite a distance to cover. Oops, there was another one. It's fine. So. You want me to go, holy shit. Literally the bottom corner of the map. Okay. Well, I guess this is the way to open up the map. Uh, hmm. I guess I should get every point in the way uh, on the way rather sorry so if i'm going here we won't be getting those two we'll get that one and then either one of those depending on how we get there yeah 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 i mean those are the, just the nexuses there's going to be the um resonance beacons in the way as well but before we do that we should be doing these 
beads to challenge us, whatever they are. Oh, shit. It's on top of the building. Where's the starting point? Over here somewhere. Here. Okay, point me in the right direction. There's like a rhythm to this. There's a real rhythm. How'd I do? Did I get a good score? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Did I get a good score? Overdash Club. Yay! An unknown anomaly exists in the tactical hologram Overdash and Challenge. Oh, well, I guess we may be getting some support for that. Anyway, done. Yeah. How many more days? Four days? Yep. And which one were you? Oh, this is the, the Maya. Okay, cool. Well, it's at least getting me where I need to go. Where is it? I don't want to track it. I just don't know where it is on the map. Uh, main mission was here-ish. So, that's fine. We'll do it along the way. Um... Yeah, I'm just heading down, right? Oh god, this is going to take forever to replenish. So I think I could equip the main menu. Mm. It's technically closer. <gasps> oh, really? Rude. 25. Well, I guess it'll have to be 25 by the time I get there. I can work with that. We should probably do this before we leave the city, I guess. Company Zero has come up with a new method to train Echoes. So let's do that before we leave. Uh, over here. Probably could just go on straight from where I am. This is a straight path. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed the wave plates, which I now have. I forgot about that. Hello, Trina. Back, Yon. Simulation sealed tube. Let's go. Let's go. Air damage does extra. You hear that, Dion? I should probably switch to Dion, but whatever. Am I killing? Yes, I'm just killing. I sense your weakness. Oh, this is You're wide open. Huh. Tell truth from facade. Whoa, how do we... Wind rider. Oh, right. The ability I have on him. Bide the time. Break! <gasps> Target confirmed. Strike! Easy. At least only use 40 wave plates, not 60 like the bosses do. It's a nice turn of events at the very least. That didn't cut it. What? That wasn't enough? Not bad, far beyond my expectations. Raven, you never failed to impress me. Don't hesitate to come if you need help. I'd be happy to provide training at different levels for enthusiastic people like you. Aha, that sounds a tad intimidating, doesn't it? I never imagined we'd breeze through all that training so quickly. You're truly living up to your name, Raven. Let's go break the good news to Grandpa Jingzhu. I only did one thing. Surely I should have done more than one. 
Back so soon? That's my sentiments exactly. Yon is quite a formidable figure. Breezing through his training is truly commendable. I have no doubt that the world will soon be at your feet, youngsters. Ha, <laughs> enough banter. Let's go down to the business first. The size of the Havoc Warrior await our sharpening. Upgrade an Echo to level 15. Done already. Whoa, it's even more impressive now. Check out those sides. They're seriously intimidating. Despite your youthful vigor, enduring Yarn's training again in such a brief span may be still be quite a quite challenge. Maybe we can... His voice. I know it's you, Mr. Jingzu. Oh, I totally thought that was Yarn. <laughs> Is it Yarn? Ah, you still recognize this old face, Yarn. You do know each other. We do, and for a long time. In the days of the Midnight Rangers, Mr. Jingzu commanded my utmost respect. It's been a short while since we last met Mr. Jingzu. You still look spirited, though your legs don't seem as nimble. Ahem, <clears throat> just a minor accident. You see, I'm getting on in years. A little slip while hiking. Nothing to worry about. I've been resting and should recover soon. Your injuries seem to have healed well, but don't underestimate the importance of rest. You're as talkative as ever, boy. Back in the day, we endured far worse and still fought valiantly in battles. Remember? But you've retired for a long time. Retired I may be, but the fire still burns within me. It's been quite some time since I've retired, and opportunities to mingle with you youngsters are rare these days. No one even talks like that. Oh, you youngsters. No one, literally, no one uses that word. And here stands Chief Instructor Yarn. You've been keeping well, I trust. I'm merely fulfilling my duty. And how fair your old comrades? Dead, probably. <laughs> Except for Captain and myself, they yell, uh, never mind. Let's focus on happier topics during this once in a wild reunion. The past is the past. When you reach my age, you'll realize that the present moment holds the most significance in life. Live in the moment. And cherish each passing day. That's how we honor our comrades' sacrifices. Indeed, Mr. Jingju, the present demands our full attention. Exactly. Now let's talk about the present. You know what I need now. Are you willing to lend a hand? <laughs> You're as spirited as ever, Mr. Jingzhou. Haha, <laughs> I'm truly flattered. These should be enough for your needs. Take them. Great, thanks. I shake the yarn doesn't seem half as evil as the rumors make him out to be. You're really going to say that to his face? My word. I'm still surprised at the revelation that Grandpa Jingzhou was once a midnight ranger. Hmm. <laughs> I'm used to keeping a low profile. Buy my time to impress Ling Han. Make her fall in love with me with only one shot. With my natural charm and these finely honed sides, I'm confident this time I'll win Ling Hun's heart and let her accept my noctiment. Are you sure? Ahem, <clears throat> absolutely. What makes Grandpa Jingzhou so sure that having a powerful echo will win Grandma Ling Hun's heart? Of course, it's not just the echo. I prepared. Ling Hun once shared her criteria for an ideal partner. She said her ideal partner is a wise and valiant soldier, wielding a handsome greatsword, accompanied by a majestic echo, facing countless foes with unrivaled poise. So, have you ever stopped to think that maybe she likes younger men? You see, apart from the majestic echo, everything else fits me to a T. No, you just look like an old man. She wants a, she wants a man with broad shoulders and doesn't stoop. By the look, do you lack faith in me? Yes. It's understandable, given the generation gap between us. When it comes to matters of love, especially our seniors, trust me, I've got this. All right, all set and ready. Let's pay a visit to Ling Han. All set and ready. Awkward. Okay, where was she again? Ugh, all over there. 